Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky says the coming weeks will define the war over the warmer months. And he's praised his forces for their work in stabilising the Kharkiv region. There have been intense battles stretching from the Russian border to Ukraine's second largest city after Moscow launched a new offensive in the northeast. But the heaviest attacks are now taking place in the eastern Donetsk region. Ukraine says FPV or first person drones are helping to attack the enemy on the front line while troops await fresh supplies from the west. In this war, and precisely by our soldiers, it was proved that drones are able to give an advantage and return the initiative. At a time when we were expecting artillery supplies from our partners, FPV drones actually saved the front. FPV drones are much like a conventional drone. They're unmanned and fitted with a camera to transmit a video feed to a headset or another device, so the operator can see what is in front of the drone. That means they can carry out precise strikes on enemy targets. Ukrainian soldiers say they've been effective, but now Russia is ramping up their production. Every brigade should have a workshop which covers the needs of the brigade, of the pilots. I'll be honest, a million drones is not enough for a year. We need at least two or three million drones because we know the enemy has more opportunities, more resources to produce these drones. Ukrainian officials say eight people were injured in a Russian missile attack in the city of Dnipro. Ukraine's air force says debris from two projectiles it shot down damaged civilian infrastructure, causing a fire and injuring residents. A one-month-old baby is among the wounded. The first explosion was not very loud. We heard it was a rocket. Fortunately, the windows were open. My husband grabbed the kid and got him out. We also ran out and the second explosion happened right in front of the windows. There was a crater there. It's three of us here. My wife, my child and me. They were sleeping in one room and I was in the other. They came running to me after the first explosion. Then I covered them with a blanket and laid myself down. After the second explosion, we came out. There was smoke and everything was on fire. As Ukraine seeks more support from its Western partners, Russia has hit out at a rumoured plan that will see French military instructors sent to Ukraine to help train troops. The French president hasn't commented on the reports, but on a tour of Africa, Russia's foreign minister says if it does proceed, the foreigners would become a target in the war. As for the French instructors, I have reason to believe there are many specific facts on this matter that they are already working in Ukraine, regardless of whether they are members of the French armed forces or simply mercenaries, they represent an absolutely legitimate target for our armed forces.